Hi guys, welcome back to Our Main Homestead. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button right up here. I've got my head net on and it is way too hot for long sleeves and jeans, but I have those on because we are still dealing with some black flies in this area. Um, they are dying down, thank goodness, but until then, we've got the full get up here. Um, today I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to be planting a hummingbird flower garden. I have been collecting some flowers that um, are good for our growing zone and our hummingbird favorites. So I've been collecting some of those. Also just some other random flowers like some flowers that I got for Mother's Day and things like that. Um, but I'm going to be putting them in the ground today. Um, so far in our old strawberry patch here, uh, Eddie has tilled up this dirt. Um, I have raked through it to get out a lot of the debris and the weeds and bigger rocks, things like that. Um, and I have already raked through some um, horse manure compost that we have as well. So I've got the ground ready and I also have some horse manure compost that I'm going to be putting directly into the areas where I'm going to be planting my flowers. Right now I am piecing together some things to put up um, as fencing around this area. We are letting the sheep out to roam and uh, go wherever they'd like to go to eat down the grass and the pastures um, and we don't have fenced in pasture yet so they get to kind of just go wherever they want to go but I don't want them going in here so I'm going to piece together some fencing out of some old cattle panels that we have, some tea posts, um, pallets, things like that um, but I just wanted to take you guys along and show you how I'm doing it and yeah here we go. Okay, change of plans. We are not piecing together cattle panels because Eddie just came outside and told me that he's actually planning to use those for another project. So I'm actually going to go get some of our field fencing and use that instead.
Okay, all finished with the fencing. I don't recommend doing that without gloves, um, but I did. Um, it was a pain in the butt. The field fence is always a pain in the butt. There you go, Titan. Um, as you can see, I use zip ties. The reason that I did that is because the um, fencing wire is actually in the chicken coop. And I won't go in there with the rooster, so I'm not going in there to grab that. So I use zip ties instead. Um, I can change that out later if I need to. Um, and then hopefully my little pallet kind of gate here is high enough and narrow enough that the sheep won't try to get in through this little space. Um, but I did want to create a little space that we could just step over to get into the flower garden because it is going to have some herbs in there as well. Um, so we wanted to be able to have easy access to it. So hopefully that's good enough. <laughs> Alright, I'm in here with all of my plants now. I've got some Calabracoa, some, ver some different types of verbena, some snapdragons, nicotina, um, oh, there's my purple verbena, petunias, hollyhocks. So I'm about to get all of those in the ground. it not the most professional flower garden in the world but it was a quick kind of evening project um, to get up the fencing to get up my little makeshift gate step over gate here and then to plant the flowers fertilize water them um, and hopefully watch them grow and attract more and more hummingbirds um, we've got a couple of feeders out and there are definitely enough hummingbirds that they are fighting over the feeders constantly so hopefully they like a lot of the flowers that I picked for them and um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.